In previous videos, I show you how to create a user account in Active Directory by using different methods. So today, I'm going to show you how to put all these users into particular group. User groups and OUs are two great ways of keeping your Active Directory organized and controlled. So the first question is why would we want to do that? Well, let's say for example that we have this one share folder on our network that we want only our sales department to have access to. Now without group in your Active Directory, you would have to go to each individual sales department user account and give that account access to that share folder. And that can quite a some time if you have a let's say 200 users in your sales department. Instead, what we are going to do is take all the sales department users account and put them in a one single group named sales user group for example. Now when I want to give access to all of my sales users to that share folder, I just give the entire sales group access to it and that's done. All sales users now have access to our share folder. You can then take the sales users group and put it in a sales organization unit and OU is really just a folder for organization purpose to keep your activity nice and clean. You can add different groups, computers and other resources to an OU. Enough talk. Let me show you how you can accomplish all of this in your Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. So first of all, let's open Active Directory users and computers by opening Server Manager and once you open a Server Manager, click on Tools, select Active Directory users and computers. We created two OU named India and Delhi. Now in this video, I am going to create another OU named Sales Team. Select Product container from accidental deletion and then click on OK. Now this will create a OU name sales team. Now next, let's see how we can create a group under our OU sales team. So you can right click over here and then select new and select group. You can also right click in a free space and then select new and group. And you can also click over here to create a new group in the current container. So let's create a group under mbrtv.local slash india slash delhi and slash sales team. So in this example, we are going to name our group sales users. We are also going to leave the default selection for group scope. Means we want to create a global as well as group type to security. Now we have a group scope like domain local, global and universal. And here we have a group type that is security. Every security group has a unique SID. So you can use security type group to assign a permission on a folders and on any resources. Here we have a, another options for distribution. You can use this type of group to distribute an application like email distribution and so on. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we will select group scope to global and we will select group type to security. Click on OK and this will create a one group named sales users. Now let's see how we can move user account into OU. Earlier, we created two user account named Jason Roy and David Warner. Let's select the both user and let's move to our OU under India, under Delhi, select sales team and click on OK. Now on the sales team, we have a two user named David and Jason. Let's add this user into the group. Just right click on your user and then select add to group. Now on select group console, click on advance and here you can click on find now and all your groups are here. These are the groups in our active directory. Now select sales user group, click on OK and that's done. Let's remove this group and if you know the uh, initial name of your group that time you can type the half name like sales and then click on check names. This will find the all group which is starting with sales. Now suppose if you type uh, only S and click on check name, you have uh, multiple names found with a starting with S letter. This is sales user schema admin and so on. We want to select sales user, that time select sales user group and then click on OK and click on OK. Now our user is successfully added to group. Now if you see the property of sales user under members, you can see just and Roy is also there. You can also add users from this console, click on add and select the name of your user in my case, we have another user named David. Type DA, click on check name. It was gives us the user, it's the UPN, and that is david.w at mprtv.local. Click on OK, click on apply, 
click on OK and that's done. Now the both users are member of our group sales user. So this is the way how we can create uh, our group and uh, we can add particular users as a member of the group. And that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.